the geocache. What? Besides being a really great hobby, geocaching can take you to some awesome spots and it can bring friends and family together. Yeah, we've just met up with our daughter from Toronto and our son's come along. We're off for a hike. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. It's in a craggy spot with lots of rocks to check around. Being on the Niagara Escarpment, there's bound to be lots of rocks to check in. That's the first cache on the trail. There's more to go, we gotta go up still. This is early November while we're here doing this hike and it is so warm I had to take my jacket off. It's like unseasonably, it is like really hot and uh, just putting up a sweat in November and it's awesome. As nice as a 4-3 would be good to have, we're just going to pack it in on this one because we want to go on a really good hike and just get some caches and see the scenery and get some exercise. So we're going to give this one another DNF and we're in good company because our one of our patrons, Lauren JT, she DNF'd it too. Oh well. She went down and then back up again. Another DNF, that was a challenge gash. Two and a half difficulty terrain. Went down, had a good hit. Came up empty, but we're not the only one with the DNF. So we're not gonna be alone when we post that one. After four DNFs, climbing all over rocks, which were really hard to walk on, uh, finally found one. <laughs> Thanks to Dex4 for placing a kind of a regular cache on the top of the escarpment where we didn't have to scramble all over Hell and Dale to find a cache. We got one. And we had given up, but they thought, nope, and we're going to look for this one. And sure enough, we got it. Thank goodness, because it wasn't a bust all the way. Around. But the views are really cool. It's a really nice area and uh, super warm and such a nice day. But I think uh, I'm getting a little parched and we're going to have to go off for some refreshments. Coming up. Great hike. We found the smiley.
bag. <laughs> October 27th. This is not the geocache. What? 10 feet to the right. And we're going to post another DNF because what we found in the corner was actually a letterbox cache. Not a hybrid letterbox for geocaching, but an actual letterbox from that uh, series or hobby. And that letterbox had indications on it that said, this is not the geocache you're looking for, that it's 10 feet to the right, which puts it about here somewhere. We've looked all over and we can't find anywhere that a cache could be hidden there. So we're just going to post this as a DNF. And it was a Dex 4 cache. We thought sure, for sure we could find it, but nope. Cool ruins, though. We found a letterbox, but not the cache. Hmm. It says it's in a crevice. I saw it before you even said that. Oh. <laughs> Finally, an easy one. And right beside the trail. It's almost as good as a lamppost cache. <sighs> I'm thirsty. Are you thirsty? I think it's time for a cool beverage. We found a couple of caches, DNFs, but you know, the walk was well worth it. With family, and just getting out with the dog, having a good time before the snow flies. Let's go get that beverage. Well, we quenched our thirst. We stepped into the thirsty cactus. It was a thirsty day. It yeah. was so warm. And we had lots of DNFs today though. Yeah, so anyway, it was a good trip because we've got to spend some time with family. And that's part of what geocaching is about, is spending time with friends and family besides the cool hobby. So. And the brews after. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. And where will geocaching take you? you? finding geocaches. Geocaching can bring your family together or your friends to go on some really cool adventures. Yeah, we've got... Ah, son of a... <laughs> my brain just... <laughs> my... Okay, got it. Besides really... Ah. <laughs>